Hello Aquarius, good morning. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Aquarius in their chart. Just make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Okay, um, please be aware that there could be scammers down below in the comment section. So if the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me replying back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also not me. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box, guys. My Patreon is also going to be down below in the description box if you guys want to see exclusive content that is not posted on YouTube, okay? So thank you guys so much for the love and support. Let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with you, Aqua. Okay. <clears throat> Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and your loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. So let's see. Y'all have to excuse my nails. Okay, they look crazy, but they'll be done soon. <clears throat> so let's see. What's going on for Aquarius? So we have For the Cloud came out, Hidden Agendas, hmm. Confident, Bottom of the Deck is Homeworker, <laughs> Breaking Up a Happy Family, Having Affairs, Doesn't Respect No Boundaries. I was getting this energy of like a setup, Aquarius, I ain't gonna lie. This is like a setup kind of vibe, a setup kind of like energy. Somebody here is doing something here for attention is what I'm getting. Okay. This says pay attention to this person. My stomach is growling like so bad. But I'm not really hungry though. I don't know. But it says um, hidden agendas. Pay attention to this person because they have other plans and the ones that they revealed. I feel like somebody is trying to hurt someone. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, like it's like somebody wants to get back here. They could be for some of you. Somebody's getting paid to do something. Okay, somebody's getting paid to do something to someone here that could be very confident. Um, that could be very bold. You know, just doing their own thing here <clears throat> somebody could have clout like they could have like a fan base or could be seen in the public eye here because somebody here is, is trying to gain clout off of your name or something you know and they have some kind of like hidden agendas or hidden motives here behind their actions towards you or something like that let's see what this shit is <laughs> Aquarius. what is for the clout hidden agendas and confident what is for the cloud hidden agendas with confident here for aqua what does this energy mean let's see so we have yeah the six of wands there's that person with the cloud this could be you aquarius or somebody you're dealing with i don't know but I'm definitely getting somebody here gets a lot of attention. And this Six of Wands is confidence. It is, you know, feeling good. Okay, having a fan base, being cheered on here. Some sort of like victory is here for you. Okay, let's see what else. So I have a Leo Jupiter. The King of Wands. Leo Energy Strong. That is your opposite sign, Aquarius. Somebody could be watching for their North Node. And then we have the Emperor. Oh, somebody in they, they big daddy energy, okay? Whether you're a girl or a, a woman or a man, don't even matter. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. So yeah, I feel like you're feeling really confident, really good, Aquarius. Like really empowered. I feel like you already know something is yours. You already know that there's a victory here, okay? Some of you guys could be um, starting a business here, a really lucrative business. Okay, but I feel like you have a victory coming in or you're already feeling victorious. You already know something is like in the palm of your hand. The King of Wands is somebody that's also like a visionary, definitely an entrepreneur, a leader. So is the Emperor. Somebody is in their divine masculine energy getting shit done. 
Okay, let's see what else. Six of Cups kind of like came out more so in reverse. Somebody here could be a Scorpio sun. You guys could be saying 666. So yeah, you got a victory over somebody from your past. I feel like you feel victorious about um, leaving somebody in the past, okay? Um, there could have been like some rose tinted view of the past, like something you couldn't see clear about someone, okay? For some of you, this is also... This could be you graduating or um, getting over some sort of like addictions. They could be any kind of addictions, like you completed therapy or counseling with the Six of Cups in reverse or um, something like that. But I feel like you've grown, you've matured, you've passed some sort of like lesson here. Somebody, I feel like somebody is still very childish, still very immature in your energy. Though it's like they want something from you. They want attention or something like that. But they're not affecting you like they used to is what I'm getting. Let's see. The sun, Leo, strong Leo here strong a lot of leo leo is in mars <laughs> so probably like for the next month i believe yeah the hermit virgo mm -hmm. bottom of the deck is eight of swords ten of swords yeah whoever this is eight of swords ten of swords and the judgment somebody could be going to jail or they as they going to spiritual jail <laughs> they are on their way to spiritual jail here so this could be why this person is like acting an ass because I'm definitely getting somebody is acting out. And that sounds so childish, right? Like, how old are you? Why are you acting out at your big ass age? But the hermit, I feel like, yeah, you bossed up here, Aquarius. You went within to do a lot of the healing work. Okay, there's like some spiritual enlightenment here. I feel like you're just wanting peace. You're wanting solitude. Okay, I feel like that's where you're at with the whole situation with whatever is going on here. A lot of things could be being exposed. The emperor was just on the bottom of the deck again. So a lot of things could be being exposed to you. There's a light that's been shunned on things within you too that needed to be healed and that are healed, it looks like. A lot of inner child wound, or wounds here that could have came up recently or you've healed from recently. It's like now you're being put in some sort of like position of authority. Okay, you're now you're now in a position of authority here. You run this shit. <laughs> Whatever somebody thought that they was running, it's like now. You took your power back. The sun is also a victory. It's also success. It's also winning something. Fertility. So you could be in this very, very creative energy as well. For sure. Definitely with the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Emperor. What's the Six of Wands for Aquarius? Let's see. This looks like good energy. What's the Six of Wands? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. Again, you got the Sun twice in your reading. So you guys will be saying 9, 19, 19, 19, 19 could be significant. I feel like you're close to something here. One and nine, that's 10. Something is almost over. You're at the ending of, of a cycle or something like that. But the sun, yeah, I feel like the sun with the nine of pentacles, this is somebody that has some sort of fame or recognition. Okay, 9-11 on the timer. You could be seeing those synchronicities as well. All right. Someone could have a Virgo, Venus. There's 919 is coming up. So you guys could really be seeing that um, those synchronicities. 828 on the on the clock so yeah the sun with the nine of pentacles i feel like this is somebody that is very independent very self-reliant or this is you the sun speaks of freedom you're free from something here aquarius and you're confident too about your decision to break free or whatever this is okay for some of you you could be pregnant with new ideas definitely new business ideas here that you could be coming up with and coming out with this could also mean pregnancy some of you guys could be pregnant you're celebrating a pregnancy or something for some of you, 
Some of y'all are getting a, some sort of like property with the nine of pentacles. This could talk about wealth inheritance as well. You could be getting some money or it's like, I don't know, a business here is flourishing for you, but I'm definitely getting happier days. Okay, your freedom. There's a victory here, a big one. I feel like whatever this situation is too, you're handling it with grace. I feel like someone is very beautiful too. It's like your energy is just very magnetic at this time too. You could be attracting a lot of suitors, a lot of people because of your confidence. Yeah, seven of cups. A lot of things that you can choose from. Okay, like, I don't know. Your energy is just very um, magnetic and vibrant. Yeah, let's see. Or oh, this is your person. Flip it, switch it. Because the Nine of Pentacles could talk about um, divine feminine energy, like pre-Empress energy. Something could be made public too. Something is going public or it's like you're letting people know something here that makes you happy and maybe they're not too happy about it. You had a death card. It's like, I don't know. Let's see. What's the King of Wands? The Two of Pentacles. Someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. What's the King of Wands with the Two of Pentacles? So yeah, I see something here balancing out for you, Aquarius. I feel like you've made a decision about something because the King of Wands talks about taking action. So I feel like now you're in this energy where you feel good, you feel self-assured, you feel really, really confident in your decision. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we have a match here. Oh, Aquarius, you on somebody's level, honey. It's like you meeting somebody at the, like, I don't know. You could be dealing with the Libra Aries. There could have been some juggling here. Somebody here had to make some sort of like decision. I feel like with this Queen of Swords facing this Queen of Wands, whoever this is, you could be getting a divorce or breaking up with this person or this, these could be mother figures here. I don't know, but it's like somebody was, I don't know if they're telling you about this Queen of Wands, which is your counterpart or something. And you had to make a decision about what's what and who's who in the situation. There could have been a lot of like, confusion here trying to maintain two partnerships or whatever somebody here prophesied something or said something the queen of swords is someone that's very discerning very very intelligent smart this could be i was gonna really say they could be seen in the public eye somebody that's that uh speaks out in a way but the queen of swords could also talk about someone that's like a, a like a divorcee or a, um uh, somebody that still has some sort of like repressed pain or trauma for some of you this is like somebody teaching you or showing you something like guiding you okay but i feel like somebody has been trying to tell you about someone or somebody has something to say about someone yeah which caused you to look deeper yeah with the hermit damn let's see what, who's the queen of swords yeah, somebody here brings enlightenment here. They can see through the veil with the sun. This sun here is behind the clouds. Whoever this is that's in the public eye brings enlightenment. They're very wealthy too. Very, I don't know. They just have this energy about them that's very magnetic. Yeah, two of cups. That's why you sit up here in love with them or whatever. Yeah, two of cups, ace of swords, and the three of wands. Yeah, there's a nice relationship coming in Aqua. Let's see. What's the Queen of Swords? <clears throat> what's the Queen of Swords here? The Four of Wands. Uh, yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, this is like a mother figure. Some Somebody in your community, somebody that you was married to. Okay, that's trying to tell you about your counterpart. They, they talk, I don't know what they're saying. But some of y'all could be going through a divorce. Okay, this could also, yeah, five of swords, five of cups of justice. Someone could have an Aries Venus here, but somebody definitely has a fan base. They're like, I don't know if they're famous or celebrity or what they are, 
but i'm definitely getting someone that's very stable very secure okay with the four of wands definitely a, a big achievement is happening where you have achieved something okay and it could just be because you're speaking up you're letting people know like what it is and what it ain't or is this person doing this on your behalf i don't know but i feel like you're calling something out or somebody has called something out I feel like somebody wants to know something like they want to know what you're doing or <clears throat> they have questions that need to be answered or something like that this queen of swords does let's see who's the queen of wands to this king of wands what's the relationship for some of you this is your counterpart what's the queen of wands this is somebody here that is very very um intelligent Wow, the king, the king of swords. <laughs> Damn, we have two counterparts here. The king of swords, queen of swords, and the king of wands or the queen of wands with the four of wands. Definitely strong twin flame connection. Something is balancing out here. Something is balancing out between you and someone. Sometimes I see the king of swords with the queen of swords as a divorced couple. Yeah, the emperor with the eight of wands. I see like two people like breaking up or keeping everything strictly business is like head over heart kind of like communication between you and somebody but there's this strong passion that you have with them too i feel like there's some sort of like communication that's coming in with the king of swords that is you aquarius you always come out in your readings okay well every time i do them it's like you are matching someone's energy it's like you're on the same Y'all could be marrying each other a lot right now, kind of like doing the same things here. I feel like you both are in this energy where you're making a lot of head over heart decisions or there's a need to kind of like speak up about certain situations that's going on in your own life separately. Okay, y'all could be doing a lot of the same shit here, setting boundaries, speaking up for yourself, um, being authentic, showing the world who you really are. Okay, yeah, I don't know. This looks nice, though. Both of you guys, or this is you making um, financial decisions, possibly, with the Two of Pentacles. Or this talks about being flexible or adaptable as well. Some of you guys are making uh, money, like, decisions about your finances. Transferring money or, um, I don't know. But this does talk about balance, though. So it's like things are changing, Aquarius. So you're adapting to what's changing around you. It's like you're marrying somebody. They're doing the same shit you're doing. I feel like there's going to be some sort of honest conversation, though. What's the emperor? <clears throat> What's this emperor? The nine of wands. Someone could have a Sagittarius moon. Let's see emperor with this nine of wands and the page of cups yeah the four of pentacles so yeah i feel like what you're doing right now aquarius is listening to your inner voice or that's what you're needing to do here i feel like you're in this protective energy you're fighting for something or fighting back for some of you this is about you being a father you can have kids with somebody here either this you and this queen of wands or you and this queen of swords i feel like one of these couples are karmic okay you could be somebody's karmic and they could be yours but you're meeting your counterpart in the midst of all this that's going on okay the page of cups is definitely good news here something that you're fighting for i feel like you're going to get good news about it all right this could also be you someone here could be a chef i said a chef <laughs> a chef A life coach. I'm hearing somebody's like a mentor, a life coach. Okay, the King of Wands is somebody like that. Or this could be you. You really have a deep testimony that you need to share. Okay, but somebody's like a life coach or a mentor. Or uh, I heard something about a basketball coach. Okay, you could coach kids at, at school or something. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> but um, it's like you've learned some sort of lessons here, Aquarius. You've learned something here. Things are looking up for you, for real, for real. I feel like um, 
my my right eye is twitching you could be you could be coming into some like uh especially if you're a divine masculine if you're a twin flame a counterpart of some sort you could be uh be uh, learning how to open up more becoming more vulnerable or learning how to be more vulnerable with the with the inner work that you're doing here is teaching you how to open up okay you could be getting good news about your children or a child some of y'all could be hearing somebody's like pregnant or something or it's like a spare baby is wanting to come in for some of you you're going to have actual twins like maybe this looks like a little girl they well i mean this looks more like a boy right here and this looks like a girl but i mean i don't know it's like it's like something is definitely brewing it's brewing behind the scenes here <laughs> Okay, but there's good news coming in. This could be about you starting a business or like I said, about your child, about your children. Um, there could be some communication coming in too, like a nice uh, offering, like uh, to go out somewhere, to go on a date, or you could be attending some sort of like event. You could be getting invited out somewhere, or you could be doing the inviting. I feel like you're in protective energy. You're protecting something. What's the Six of Cups in reverse? The judgment. Yeah, you've made a decision. What's the Six of Cups in reverse with the judgment? It's like you're you're going through a major awakening. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. There's something here that you need to be celebrating. This <laughs> is like, I don't know. Yeah, Three of Wands. Some of you guys could be moving. All right, but there is definitely something good coming in in the near future. Because I'm getting future energy. I feel like you didn't already found out who had hidden agendas. Or you're seeing the difference between you and another connection versus you and this other connection. Like your counterpart. I feel like you're understanding why somebody wants this clout or why they're doing something for fame or, or I don't know. But somewhere it could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I'm definitely getting... Someone is coming. If this is somebody coming back here, they, they're they coming back matured. It's like somebody has awakened. They could be wanting to negotiate, to negotiate something with you. Or this could be somebody that you've already let go from your past. That you're like, no, I don't want to deal with you. Like, And I feel like you're doing it in a sense where you're not cursing them out or being mean or anything. I just feel like you don't want to be bothered. I feel like you've already made peace with something here. The judgment definitely talks about something being resurrected, though. Somebody has grown up. They've matured. With the Six of Cups in reverse. And there's past situations that have been let go of for sure. The judgment talks about some of y'all could be getting good news in a court situation about children. That's what I keep getting. I keep hearing that. Someone could be either going to trial or something like that, but there's a karmic lesson that's been learned. The judgment also talks about feeling homesick. So you could be missing somebody. What's the Knight of Cups? What's this offer? It's like you're completely done with something. It's like maybe maybe you were going back to this person or doing this thing over and over again. The cycles kept repeating over and over again. But I feel like you finally learned something. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. What's the Knight of Cups? You yeah, going from the page to the Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? I feel like you're definitely following your heart, listening to your inner voice here. Definitely, I saw the Eight of Wands, communication. What's the Knight of Cups, Spirit? The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Again, you guys will be seeing a lot of sixes. I feel like you are embracing your gifts too here, Aquarius. Is there something that's celebratory? I don't know. Someone could have a Taurus moon. Ooh, we. Some of y'all could be um getting a new job or you could be getting some money here. Or this could just be you willing to open up and share. Somebody's willing to share with you. I don't know, but somebody gets paid really good with the Six of Pentacles. This is equal give and take reciprocity. Somebody is coming back to either apologize to you, ask you for your forgiveness, but they have some sort of like offer. This person or whatever. Or now that you've let go of whatever you needed to let go of, things are being balanced in your life here, especially with your finances. 
some of you guys are getting more clientele or you're going to have more success success with your dating life okay and you're going to now know how to date right because maybe at first you were not knowing like at first you were dealing with a bunch of losers somebody here could be wanting to give you a gift or propose to you in public something is going to be public or if it's not you're just i don't know it's like people are cheering you on for something that you're doing okay you're getting a lot of good recognition here yeah six of cups for some of you yeah six of cups nine of cups and the king of cups yeah there's somebody that you love here uh aquarius or this is this person loving your ass but it's definitely somebody that's what i was getting it's somebody that you already know that you see as your wish fulfillment there's a wish that's coming in definitely some sort of recognition and fame and acclaim is coming towards you too as well and it could be because you're very gifted with the sixes here you're embracing who you are as a divine masculine okay the, the uh king of cups is a a healer a psychic it could be a counselor somebody definitely with a testimony here some of you guys i'm here you could have went through a lot of abuse maybe emotional abuse that had you blocked off from um really honing into your gift your your intuition whatever your gift is and um like you could be clairvoyant you could have a, a couple of clairvoyances a uh, clear cognizing yeah two of cups the king of pentacles the seven of swords four of swords the high priestess yeah you somebody here feels something coming it is coming here you are aquarius with the star wow aquarius this energy is still positive from the last time i did your reading thank god <laughs> you know what i'm saying like but this time i don't see bullshit Okay, I keep coming out in the, in the cards as I'm looking. Wow, look, Aquarius. <laughs> the Emperor of Justice, the Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles. I just saw the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, definitely divine counterparts. Mm -hmm. There was some sort of hex or curse here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles with the Devil for some sort of money. Or like I said, fame, recognition. The, the Seven of Cups with the Ten of Swords is definitely like illusions, confusion, a curse, or a hex. Or it could be a jinx, right? Yeah. That that shit is over. <laughs> that's why it's not that's why it's barely coming out in the reading. What's uh what's the Knight of Cups doing? I mean, what's the judgment? Sorry, we clarify. What's the judgment? So you're seeing you're seeing these people from your pack. Yeah, seven of seven of wands. Definitely Leo Mars. So a lot of this this Leo Mars energy is really, really coming through strong. Okay, for sure. Especially since that's your polar opposite, Aquarius. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the Seven of Wands is fighting for something. Standing up for what you believe in. Definitely defending, being protective over something. So, it's like this energy where the Divine Feminine, the Divine Feminine protects. Uh, one of my, um, I guess, acquaintances on my Twitter. <laughs> my little girlfriend or whatever. I think she watches my channel, but I retweeted... Um, something of hers and it says the divine masculine definitely protects in the 3d while the divine feminine protects in the 5d that's what's happening here okay but i feel like there's a switch in both energies at some point sometimes right because <clears throat> it's like when the divine feminine awakens they have to kind of like lead and take on the bulk of the connection until the divine masculine awakens and then the roles reverse or they flip where now the divine masculine sees the bullshit that's going on and his energy and the people that they're around their environment and what could potentially potentially stop their growth i feel like this person sees that either you're the divine masculine or your person is aquarius flip it switch it but that's what i'm getting like somebody is now standing up for themselves and fighting or protecting whoever it is that they want to date knight of cups or be with because somebody gets a lot of attention and they, they this person has to be okay with that like i mean you don't have to be okay with it but i'm saying though like this is someone's counterpart they're meant for something that you're meant for a uh, divine feminist like y'all both have the same kind of like goals and certain things like that you know so i feel like whoever this is is supposed to be a leader too in some way they're supposed to get a lot of attention too so they have to kind of like be prepared to lead and, and protect like the divine masculine is supposed to. Yeah, there's some sort of like, I don't know, but this is nice though. I feel like you're defending something. What's the sun? Something is blocked. 
from being able to wreck whatever you're trying to resurrect within yourself or within a partnership. What's the sun? Okay, the high priestess. Yeah, what's the sun with the high priestess? You could be dealing with a Pisces or you could be on the cusp, Aquarius. The magician flipped out in reverse on my lap. Yeah, something something is coming to light about some manipulation. <clears throat> That's why this, this says hidden agendas here. Because this person, I mean, people hide doing magic all the time. Or hide the fact that they're greedy. This person here is very greedy. Or um, there's some sort of like trickery or trickster energy here. It could be a Virgo or a Gemini or they could have a shit in their chart. Somebody here could have tried to trap you with a child. Is what I keep getting. Somebody's either pregnant or you're going to, you and your person are becoming pregnant in the future or whatever the fuck. But whoever this high priestess is, is very much so aware of this magician in reverse and it's being called out. It could be amongst a lot of people with the four of wands, six of wands here twice. There's like something that's being um, spoken about that's the truth, which is helping this masculine. Whoever this is, is getting all this attention. Somebody is a high priestess. They're a, a tarot reader or they're a, just very intuitive. I don't know. They could definitely be this in the public eye. But somebody here could see beyond the bullshit. So, and they're calling it out. Yeah, somebody could be an earth angel with the temperance or, I don't know. They just are very blessed with the divine team of, I don't know. <laughs> but the high priestess is seen as a divine feminine too. Yeah, the devil with the nine of swords. Mm -hmm. What's the magician in reverse? There's some sort of psychic ability here that somebody didn't know that they had because it was blocked. What's the magician in reverse? Somebody was blocking someone's psyche. Yeah, the star. Somebody is meant to be a fucking star. That's you, Aquarius. You're meant to like make great connections with the Aquarius energy. This talks about you socializing and networking too. Like kind of like Gemini in a sense. But <clears throat> this is like a Aquarius represents social groups, affiliates and things like that. But this talks about somebody could be an up and coming star. Definitely seen in the public eye. Something is healing too within you, Aqua. It's coming to light or you already seen it or you know it or whatever the fuck, you know. There's a wish here that's maybe been supposed to came in or a wish here is going to be granted. But I feel like it's something very deep, very spiritual, a gift that you have that you just weren't aware of because people have been doing black magic on your ass. Yeah, because they want it. They want this position. They want this spot. Five of swords with the nine of cups. Somebody here is a bully or they're abusive or they're abusing their position of authority. What's the what's the the high priestess? Someone saying at birth that you was a fucking a genius. What's the high priestess? Yeah, seven of swords. Mm -hmm. Seven of cups. The emperor trying to confuse this masculine or stop this masculine from being a divine masculine. That's crazy. The moon. Ace of Cups. Look what you have that's been hidden from you that people are trying to get. The Moon, the Ace of Cups, the, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. There could be fights and shit about money, about a, a maybe a connection here that is connected to this Ten of Pentacles for you. People are fighting about it or they're in competition or they want your spy. They want this person that you're supposed to be going towards or they want whatever this is, this gift that you have to create this Ten of Pentacles. They want it. They've been trying to steal that shit. It could be a witch here that's obviously been doing it. Okay, someone could have an Aquarius moon. So I feel like right now what you're doing is keeping things to yourself. You could be very quiet, very secretive. You're not saying anything or you're making it look like you don't know what the fuck is going on or that you're not doing something that you are doing, period. And that's how it needs to stay. So moving on. <laughs> moving on here with the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, something was definitely hidden. There was a lot of bullshit going on behind your back. And I feel like you and your counterpart here, y'all both expose certain things to one another. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune with the Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles is yours to regardless. The justice is going to be served to regardless. What's the Hermit? This shit put some hair on your chest, Aquarius. <laughs> like, you coming out of this shit, like, 
more wise than you could could have ever been before. Like, I don't know. What's the, I mean, the, uh, the hermit. Nine of Swords. What's the hermit with the Nine of Swords? The Hierophant. Wow. Now we have the High Priestess to the Hierophant. Yeah. Whoever this Divine Masculine is, they're the Hierophant. They could have Taurus in their chart or this is you. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This is going to complete this. Yeah, the Empress. Ten of Cups with the Hangman, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. If somebody's right now, literally what they're doing is growing and maturing. Like literally right now as I'm speaking, they are working through like fears with the Nine of Swords, anxiety. They're becoming a leader with the Hierophant. I'm definitely getting somebody getting prepared for a relationship. We have three counterparts here. The High Priest is the Hierophant, which is the strongest to me. The Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, King of Swords. This Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. With your counterpart, wow, Aquarius. <laughs> I don't know. This is really fucking exciting. You can feel things changing, too, I feel. You can feel it coming. Yeah, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Literally a fucking steps. There's like two of wands, three of wands, and the ace of wands. Somebody here is taking action. We have the four of wands here. Okay, so some of you guys might have to move or travel. You can live at a distance from this person, but baby, there's something that you feel is coming. But the two of wands, that's like anticipating something. We have the queen, the king of wands right here. Yep, the eight of wands with the six of cups. <laughs> The King of Wands is here. It's communication from your person. Ooh, we. Mm -mm. But the um the Hierophant talks about lessons. Definitely somebody that's a leader. Definitely somebody that has a testimony. This whoever this is, you're masculine and you are very wise. Somebody is protecting you in the three. I mean, in the five D. It's your divine counterpart. It's your divine feminine. If you're divine masculine watching. Or if you're a divine feminine watching, it's you that's protecting this person. Wow, this is so nice. Somebody has been protecting you spiritually this whole time from this magic. They're aware of this magic that's been going on here. They're aware of it. Yep, two of cups. Aw, Aquarius. You're in love with this person. This is like the most beautiful fucking connection I've ever... <laughs> It's like to the point where I want to cry. <laughs> I don't know. That's so sweet. What's the what's the nine of swords? This is like real love here. This is like really like real unconditional love. It's not a facade. It's not none of that. What's the nine of swords? So somebody's working through nervousness. You guys could be saying nine nine nine. What's the nine of swords? Somebody could be in trouble with the law. Yeah, eight of swords, confirmation of, and the hermit and the justice. Child, that ain't confirmation of what I'm feeling. <laughs> the cards is lining right up. Somebody going to jail. Or they as they going to spiritual jail for doing this magic. One or the other, probably both. What's the nine of swords? Four of Pentacles came out in reverse. Capricorn energy. So somebody here is losing a hell of a lot of money. Somebody here is being forced to let go of something. You could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp or Aquarius Pike. I always get that with y'all all the time. Uh, you're, you're one or the other. You're on the cusp, though. There's an Aquarius here that's specifically on the cusp. But the Four of Pentacles is also releasing, letting go, like I said, opening up, um, releasing your fears and, and whatever the hell else that you're needing to work through with the Hermit. You could be nervous. You're nervous about opening up, but it's going to work out in your favor. This is good news here. Yeah. It's like letting go of possessions. And this could also talk about, too, where there could have been a loss of money or whatever the fuck. But I feel like it's all worth this. Whatever this is you got coming in. Period. King of Pentacles, you have something better. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Emperor. You have something better in store for you. You know it. Period. But somebody here, someone here could be a thief or they could have stolen from you. I feel like the Four of Pentacles also talks about where you've been overextending yourself. And now things are balanced out. You're not going to be overextending yourself anymore. You're, you, you know what the fuck it is you need to do and how to set boundaries and who the fuck to cut off or whatever. 
What's the higher fan? You've been like given to a fault or being loyal to a fault here. It's like, no. What's the higher fan? I feel like this is all about your morals, your values, your respect that you have for yourself. You're demanding respect. It's like, bitch, give me my respect, give me my credit, and move the fuck around, bitch, because now I don't want to deal with your ass. What's the higher fan? The Eight of Pentacles, yep, self-work, self-mastery, learning a new skill, yeah, to, to fight this devil energy. I keep saying this Queen of Cups, yeah, whoever this is, for some of you, this is a mother figure, your mother or your father or whoever the fuck this is, or your baby mama, baby daddy, whoever it is, man. But the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy is self-mastery, is work, is building up your skills here, building up your confidence, staying focused on your self-work. Somebody is doing the inner work here. That's so freaking nice, man. I'm not going to... I'm going to put this card under here because I don't want it to show in the camera too close. Okay. Yeah. That is fucking lit, Aquarius. I'm really proud of y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking proud. Let's see. Do I want to pull these? Or what do I want to pull from Spirit? Let's see. witch hunt <laughs> cautiously optimistic hmm. somebody here i mean a lot of y'all come from backgrounds where you were witches in a past life somebody here you and your counterpart were in a past life y'all definitely were very spiritual and very um definitely not religious but very spiritual you could have been a martyr like some of y'all could have even passed away in a past life due to having these beliefs Okay. Well, let's see. Give me more clarity here. Let's see what comes out with these. Belligerent. Hmm. Number six again, another six. <laughs> Damn, so many sixes. And mouth of lies. Yeah, somebody is lying on somebody that's seen in a public eye. Someone could have been doing love spells. Okay. Number 18, that's the moons, Cancer Pisces. So somebody here is attracting, like, it's like it's like bees to honey here. <laughs> somebody is very attractive, or they're, I don't know, somebody's energy is very like uh, attractive. And I feel like it's their beauty too, but it's mostly their energy for sure. Somebody's just a good person, just period. And somebody else is mad or being loud or whatever the fuck. Yeah, childish behavior. Somebody's lying on someone that's in the public eye and somebody's realizing that whoever this masculine is, they see that. Unwilling to share. <laughs> Number 32, somebody could be the age 32. That's number, that's five. So yeah, I feel like you've been in conflict with somebody that's just not willing to give to a connection. Yeah, dismissive. This cat got nine lives. <laughs> Hostile workplace environment. Somebody is like witchy. They're very witchy, but I feel like it's in a good way. And then there's a dark witch here for sure. So I feel like right now you're not, you don't care. I'm getting four cups energy. You don't give a fuck if you're just being dismissive or not. And you know, there's something that you should be celebrating here with these cupcakes. It has like birthday sprinkles on it or whatever the fuck. I feel like you're not sharing your energy with nobody else. You're not going to give your time, your energy, your money to anybody else. You're unwilling to share right now. You're being selfish with your energy, your time. Okay. And I feel like you don't give a fuck here. I, mean, I really feel like you don't care because I feel like you've done enough sharing. You've overshared. And that's the issue. Leveling up, period. <clears throat> Can't make it up. Deep-seated discrimination. Mm. So somebody here is, is, is discriminating against you. This could be at work or wherever you work at. Or this could be like in your life. Somebody has been trying to keep you quiet or, or stuck or controlled here. This person here, for some of y'all hearing something about either racism or somebody's like prejudice. Mm. 
I feel like this also talks about, like I said, you being a martyr. Somebody does not like who you are or your gifts or something like that. Settling, yeah, and mob mentality. Yeah, it's a lot of people here. It is a lot of fucking people that I feel like you're fighting against or you're standing up against or defending yourself against. There's a, there's a lot of people here. Mob mentality was settling. Definitely 222666. I'm telling you, go look up those numbers. I don't know. <laughs> like mm. I feel like there's people now trying to come back to you, Aquarius, to to settle some things with you. They want to like fix the connection. Or fix connections with you. And I feel like you're done. You know these people's intentions. Imposter and public embarrassment. I told you something getting ready to be public. They getting ready to be seen for who exactly for exactly who they are. A fucking dark witch or whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, and then we have Encore. Definitely being congratulated, like I said. Being cheered on for. Like cheered, cheered on in public. Yeah, starving for attention. They, they, this person, somebody it is cloud hungry. They do too much. They really do. With imposter. And then we have number 20. Wow, 19 and 20. The 20 is the judgment. The sun is number 19 here. We have 19 here a lot. <laughs> yeah, everybody's pointing the finger at this person. They're like, it was you, bitch. Yeah, it was this hoe. It was this hoe. Whoever the fuck this is. Uh, this damn child. Let's see. What else? <laughs> Laughing behind your back and scarce mentality. Karma is a bitch, period. It sure is. It sure is, honey. Laughing behind your back. Something is going on at work with these people. In these suits or whatever the fuck. Yeah, people talking about you behind your back. And I feel like that's what you're healing from. Or that's what you're purging right now, Aquarius. You're mastering not giving a fuck about if people are laughing behind your back or not. I feel like you don't care. And you absolutely should not. <laughs> but anyways, man, this was your reading, Aqua. Very nice reading. I, I love this for y'all. I really do. Um, I hope that this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe um turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you all later bye